Hello YouTube, this is Bowtie Media, and today we've got another installment of This Week in EDM, where we go over songs that came out this past week in EDM. It's that self-explanatory. Normally there's five categories. We've got nothing at the bottom, nothing at the very top this week, no trash, no standout, so we'll get into it. But before we do, uh, there is a Spotify link for all of these songs. Make sure you sort by recently added, uh, so you can see what songs are actually this week, or else you're going to see the very first time this playlist was made. So, without any further ado, let's hop into the bad category. We've got... Uh, DBL Park or Double Park by Good Times Ahead. Um, the quote that they say in the song is, uh, I want to double park on that booty. I don't know what that means. I, and like, I'm not ignorant here. I, I, I don't understand. I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense. I spent way too much time trying to understand that. Uh, mixed with the kind of strange house beat. It wasn't really awful, but I, I don't want to listen to it again. Next up, we've got Living Without You by Sagala, David Guetta, and Sam Ryder. Uh, this is your most basic commercial house beat. Uh, no real substance here, fairly short, and uh, nothing to write home about. So this is just pretty basic. And then we've got Anywhere's Home by Kashmir. Uh, it's got an eight bar first drop. It's Slap House, and it's under three minutes, um, which is all a recipe for big thumbs down from me. So, and I, I, some of you guys love Kashmir. I personally, not a fan, but whatever. As we move into the meh category, we've got uh, Feels Like Home by Dub Vision and Afrojack. Another fairly basic commercial house track here, uh, but with slightly more life to it. Uh, this is the kind of song for the upcoming uh, Dutch Grand Prix for F1, I believe. And so this, this will be great for that and, and the tone. So then we've got Dancing in the Dark by Lentra and Son. Uh, very sleepy track with a chill tone, uh, quite relaxing, but I've heard much stronger chill tracks like that, especially this week, which we will get into in a second. So, uh, not bad, but, uh, I've, I've heard better. Then we've got Last Summer, the Gamma remix, originally by Tokyo Machine and Weird Genius featuring Lights. Um, never been a huge hard dance fan, and that's a lot of what this is. A uh, very okay remix, and the original wasn't that great personally for me either, and so all of it was just a culmination of stuff that just made it very meh for me. Then we've got Melting by Jaws. Um, now the Block Party EP is out. I thought it was out last week with three songs, but this is like an add-on, but I, I, I'm confused. But uh, the apparently four-track Block Party EP is out now. Uh, but the best song of the four, I would say, uh, albeit pretty mediocre. Um, there's been a lot of solid trap this week, which we will also get into. Uh, so this one uh, just fell flat. Then we've got Royalty by Wales featuring Diandra Faye. Uh, something feels painfully absent with the drops and I like, I did like the vocals, but I've never personally been a Wales fan. Um, I feel like he's more of a love it or you hate it, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe if I gave this a little bit more time, I would enjoy it. But, uh, again, it's kind of a shorter track. I don't know. It just, it just felt wrong. Something about it felt, felt wrong to me. So that's why it's there. Then we've got Heaven Takes You Home, the alternate mix by Swedish House Mafia featuring Connie Constance. Um, is it just me or does every alternate mix, when people call it an alternate mix, the exact same? You take a house track, remove the main beat, and add a deep, long synth to it, and that's your alternate mix. I feel like that's literally every single alternate mix ever, but um, other than that, it's okay. I prefer the original, and that's that. We've got Playtime by Effin. Uh, I'm quite hit or miss with Effin, I feel like, but uh, this was actually kind of just right down the middle for me. Uh, some parts I enjoyed, but was overall a little bit too muddled for my personal liking. Then we've got Sand Dunes by Blue Claire. Uh, slightly different take on the Middle Eastern sound design, as it's not too on the nose with that. You kinda, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, it's a fun club house beat, uh, but uh, I would really enjoy it so much in said spaces. Uh, not too much listening by myself. So, uh, fun track, but... Uh, and then we've got Howl by Elderbrook and Tourist. Um, another chill track here uh, with some kind of indie sounding vocals, I would say. Uh, I like the tone and production of this track, uh, but there's really not a whole ton going on. Um, but it did sit well with me, I would say. Uh, and then we've got the good category, nine songs in the good category this week. We've got Black Mass by Inhuman. The Black Mass EP is out on Disciple. Uh, the first, this is my first listen to Inhuman. I had not listened to the rest of the EP so far, but I was uh, I was happy with what I'd heard. Uh, it's solid dubstep, it's solid dubstep. doesn't have the kind of extremities to it and makes it quite palatable. It's not as the basses aren't so low and the highs aren't as high and it kind of is a a fairly more linear track, but I, I actually really like that. Um, that fit the tone of the track, I think, as well, too. So uh, I'm excited to listen to the rest of that EP later. 
Then we got Time Goes By by Ioban and Janae, uh, featuring Faith out on Bitbird. Uh, Happy Go Lucky Beat with some sad lyrics behind it. Um, the kind of muted future bass drop that I think worked really well. Uh, was a shorter song that uh, you know I don't personally love, but uh, it kind of it kind of worked in this context and didn't didn't feel that long for me personally. Then we've got Only You by Slippy and Haimanu. Uh, one of the better hybrid trap sounds I have heard as of late. Uh, the the beat is fairly simplistic and there's not too much going on with a bit of a vocal sample, but I just I just found it a clean track, just just clean. I think if more than anything, if it if it's not a very like right home about it track as long as it's clean and the production's great i'm, I'm cool with it uh, then we got all that really matters by or the crystal skies remix originally by elenium and teddy swims uh crystal skies does what elenium does but just better um <laughs> it sounds way nicer uh especially with that drum and bass switch up at the end fantastic literally just one upped Elenium style and then did something totally different just to show off its diversity. Um, this was, <laughs> to me, this is kind of a, uh, this is a, almost like a slap in the face to Elenium. It just feels like Crystal Sky is like, hey, hey, I, I can actually do what you're doing way better. So that's personally how I felt about it. But uh, then we got Yesterday by No Mana, a fairly uneventful electro house, uh, but still really good, cheerful with bits and hints of that kind of 8 bit nostalgic tone to it. Uh, it's a Pretty unassuming track, but I would say in a good way. So, up next we got "There Was Once a Light" by Aussie. Uh, this is a this is the chill stuff that I actually really really love. Um, it's there's a subtle kit of drum in the back uh, with reserved vocals and beautiful strings, and all makes for a track that I personally really really relate to. So. Then we've got Silo by R.L. Grime and Hex Cougar featuring fucking sad, I want to say. Fucking sad. Uh, it's a darker hybrid trap collab for the ages with these two in R.L. Grime and Hex Cougar. Uh, heard both of their artist signature kind of beat and sounds in this track. And, and uh, the uh, Viking Sad, whatever, has a great pseudo kind of creepy vocals to it while still being kind of that high female vocalist. And so uh, it just went along great with the tone of the track, I would say. Then we've got Heartbeat by Bad Computer. Uh, quality production, again, this is kind of like the uh, only you slippy track. Quality production, fairly basic, uh, not ton of vocals, but it's just a great instrumental, really clean, well put together track. And our top track of the week is Call On Me by Seven Lines featuring Vancouver Sleep Clinic. I'm personally a huge fan of Vancouver Sleep Clinic vocals. Um, I'm surprised at how much I enjoyed the melodic dubstep from Seven Lines here. Uh, this is, again, I feel like Elenium's just getting one-upped and one-upped in every single capacity this week. There's melodic dub, melodic bass, whatever you want to call it. Um, this might be one of the best melodic songs, I think, of the year. At least probably ones that I've heard so far. And so um, big, big ups for Seven Lions here. So uh, that has been this week in EDM. Let me know what you think of any and all tracks in the comment section below. But other than that, I've been Bowtie Media, and I'll see you guys in another video.